Hi everyone. I have this poor PowerBook G4 that I got a couple years ago. I was purchasing another Mac and the owner had this in a pile of junk ready to be taken to the dump. I asked if I could have it and he said yes. Now for sure, this PowerBook is pretty beat up. The display is cracked, it's filthy, the paint is all chipped, and the enclosure is in bad shape. You can even see where it's been epoxied to hold it together. Hopefully I can fix this up. I'm going to begin by giving this a good wipe down to get all the main surface grime off, starting with some window cleaner on a paper towel. Ugh, that's coming off pretty good. As amusing as this old sticker is, it has to go. some more cleaning just using window cleaner. Or should I call it Windex? I mean, is it ketchup or catsup? Soda or pop? Potato, potato, trainers, sneakers? Who knows really? I need to buff out the rough parts and I've found using a Dremel polishing wheel works great for a job like this. It's hard to find replacement displays for these classic computers, so a lesser known restoration technique is to use a hairdryer, a strong one, at least 1800 watts. The heat helps to reform the crystals in the liquid crystal display, though there may be still some residual surface abrasion. Awesome, it worked! Oh yes, before I forget, I need to get the old batteries out. Just have to remove the main battery. Give the system a few good shakes. It should come right out. Not today, Varta. Now to tackle all this chipped paint. I like to use these Crayola brand markers. This kitten gray color matches perfectly. It takes quite a few layers of coats for it to cover properly. Much better. Well, I think this really cleaned up nicely. The paint looks almost new and the display is working much better. Thanks for watching. I know these aren't the most orthodox restoration methods, but they've been pretty effective here. I mean, just look at the difference. And please be sure to like and subscribe and all that other YouTube stuff. It really helps. See ya!